So the push-up is a closed kinetic chain exercise, which basically means your hands are in a fixed position and you move your body. That is very good for relative strength, so how well you can move your body, and also it is an excellent way to build up a base level of strength. So if you're someone that's starting their fitness journey, push-ups are a great tool to add. So I'm sure we all know that the push-up is a compound movement. So it's going to be hitting multiple muscles at once, which is fantastic for muscle and strength gains. The primary movers in the push-up are the chest, shoulders and triceps. So they are the muscles that are going to hypertrophy from this exercise. But if done correctly, I would consider the push-up to be a full body exercise. Because your back, your core, your glutes and even your quads have to stay strong and rigid through the movement, they have to brace. So because of that, I would consider the push-up a full body exercise. Because the push-up is a basic calisthenics movement, it has a low stress on your nervous system and muscular skeletal system. A term that's being thrown around a lot is stimulus to fatigue ratio. So how much stimulus an exercise gives you compared to how much fatigue it gives you. Now the push-up, because of those two reasons, has a great stimulus to fatigue ratio. Therefore, they can be done at a high frequency multiple times throughout the weeks, which is important for strength because strength is a skill and you get better at what you practice. This rule applies to many areas in life, not just fitness. Also, a higher frequency approach allows for more muscle protein synthesis. Without getting into too much of the science stuff, muscle protein synthesis is the metabolic process your body goes through after you've finished training to rebuild your muscles to come back stronger and bigger. So, to a degree, there is a cutoff point, but to a degree, the more you train, the bigger and stronger you will get. Another great benefit of the push up is the massive core engagement you get doing the exercise. Due to the bracing of your abdominals and your glutes required to keep your spine rigid during the movement, you're essentially doing a plank but with a pressing motion involved. So you're kind of killing two birds with one stone there. A similar movement would be something like a ab rollout, where the goal is to keep your core braced whilst your torso goes through a range of motion. Another reason is the scapula can move freely during the push-up, so it can protract and retract freely. When you protract the scapula during a push, this engages the serratus anterior, aka the boxer's muscle, which in my opinion has quite a profound effect on your physique, especially from the front. And also it plays a role when you're pushing things whilst you're standing on your feet. So it has great athletic carryover if you're into some sort of contact sport like rugby where you have to push people away or if you're into martial arts where you have to throw punches. The serratus plays quite a large role in those movements. Another reason you should do push-ups is because simply there's just dozens of variations that you can do. So if you're getting a bit bored doing the same sort of push-up, there are many, many variations you can throw into your routine just to spice things up. You can emphasize different muscles with different types of grips. So in general, the closer your hands together, the more triceps you're going to work and the further your hands are away from each other, the more chest and shoulders you are going to work. Both variations, wide and close, are going to hit the chest, shoulders and triceps, but with like any movement, different angles and different grips will place emphasis on different parts of the body. You can even add weight to your push-ups to make progressive overload simple and keep you in the hypertrophy rep range of 5 to 30 reps. So you don't have to be doing countless reps and countless sets the stronger you get at the push-up.
final point I'll make about the push up is that it has carryover to all types of compound pushes that you do, whether that be calisthenics or barbells or dumbbells or even machines, it is going to carry over to all various types of pushes you do. Especially the bench press due to the fact that it's a similar movement. It's a horizontal push and the same muscles are involved. So if you're looking for a assistance exercise to help you improve your bench press, then the push up is very, very good for that. So that's everything I have to say about the push up. Give it a go yourself. See if you like it and make those gains. So until next time, peace.